Hello everyone, I am Torior and welcome back to Hans of Iron 4 and this time we're doing Kaiser Redux. Why? Well, because you voted for it. More specifically, let me show you the spreadsheet. Here's the almighty spreadsheet. Now if you don't know, I look through the comments on my channel and take any suggestions there, give them points based on how many times they were posted and how many times those posts were liked. And currently we have 300 suggestions, I'm gonna show them to you in a moment. But first, today we're doing what I think started as a typo for Sanationist Poland. Maybe I'm very, very wrong, but you did kind of latch onto it. Satanist Poland. 829 points. Now, how to do Satanist Poland? I had two ideas, and even made a poll on the channel. Either just play Poland and be as evil as possible, or do Kaiser Redux with an actual Satanist path. And you voted for Kaiser Redux. Now back to the spreadsheet. As you can see there are many categories, mods, guides, achievements or just regular challenges. And some of those suggestions I like. For example, number 6 or number 7. 3 could be fun too, while 4 seems rather tedious. And of course, here's Equestria at War, slowly gaining traction. So I'm gonna scroll down through the list. Uh, you can slow the video down or pause and see if there's something you want to suggest. If you see any repeats, do let me know. I do make mistakes sometimes. We're at the bottom of the list. All the rest were just suggested ones. But again, if you see something you like, you can comment a duplicate of that and maybe it will get made in the next video, if enough people like it. Back to Hans of Iron. Kaiser Redux, reportedly an improved Kaiser Reich experience, although I must say I hated the menu music. It's incredibly annoying. Kaiser Reich and Kaiser Redux is an alternate history scenario in which Germany won the First World War. We're gonna be playing as Poland, of course, but we have to set some custom game rules. The meme option for Poland, Regni de Polonia, which means, I think, Poland Kingdom of God. And there's a lot of meme options here. Now, I've been advised by one of you to set Ukraine to independent, not sure if that will be necessary, but otherwise we're, we'll be surrounded by factions. I don't know that much about the mod, so I'm just going to follow the advice you gave me. Let's make a socialist republic so we can kill it and get out of the isolation. And let's do splendid isolation, hopefully they'll be alone without a faction. Poland, and no Iron Man because it's a mod, I don't know, and there might be instabilities or something. Well, let's go, Satanist Poland. Welcome to Kaiser Redux, yes, there's a lot of events in this. I'm not gonna be reading all of them, I'll pause and let you see most of the events. Oh, but this is important, in-game path guides. We go here, and then path guides here, and then view this guide. This is how I know how to get Anarchist Poland, which is necessary. Military industry prioritized. Research and construction boosts. Now we actually start as a puppet of the Germans, and let's see the factions. That's the Reichspakt, with a lot of territory, the Austro-Hungarians, and the communists are in France and Britain. Indeed not, but it's not very relevant to us at the moment. So see how we're isolated. If we go independent, we can either fight the Reichspakt or the Austro-Hungarian Empire. Uh, ease up on conscription, sure, whatever. Production, just guns. We will be going into high-tech units, but only after a couple of years, once we've established ourselves. Let's pause, speed the game up. There is a lot of events, so we can pause and read them. Essentially, we have a Regency Council, which is useless and terrible. The Polish Rebirth League, I think that's the one we have to side with to get where we need to go. I'm actually not a fan of the Kaiserreich experience because of two things. It's mostly guided by events and there's a lot of negative stuff that keeps happening to the player, so you just have to keep putting out fires. Not the greatest experience, but Kaiser Redux is supposed to be better with this. Um, I guess we'll see. The Great Berlin Stock Market Crash. No, I don't want the sounds for that. Yeah, and that's like the Great Depression, but in Germany. Uh, we'll get hit with that too. Our construction speed is not very good. We can get rid of the negative influences later. Economy fails. Now we can switch to the Social Conservative Party. That's not what we want. Pressure the Regency Council to do something. Not that they're going to, but let's pressure them. Monopoly crash, sure. Oh, right, let's get an agency. Events popping up all the time. I mean, if you are into a narrative experience like that, that's fine. My previous experience with this universe was playing the United States of America and trying to not have a civil war happen, and it was a terrible experience. Anyways, bombing in Warsaw, we're getting some terrorists, sadly. More research boosts. Getting our first spy. Raid on Michelinita. See, political power going to the negatives. Stability at 1%. We know Mr. Mosley from Vanilla quite well. Council is distracted again. Uh, let's do It's Hopeless. Regency and same in danger. Will happen. Russian elections. NLPR. 
What does that mean? We'll see. Recruit this guy. Oh, that was Jeremy Claxon there. Well, another time. Regency and same in danger. Military moves into safe Poland or chaos in the countryside. We want chaos. And here we have to choose the option. In a turn of events unexpected by anyone, a Polish Rebirth League takes over. You want to join the Middle Europa? I don't want to join the Middle Europa, but I don't have the option to not. Although we are a puppet, so it makes sense. Not for much longer. And the Regency Council is done, and we can finally start doing some focuses. Let's look at the focus tree. It's pretty extensive, nothing too crazy. And with our meme path open, we can go to Reborn through Faith, and that's what we require. Kingdom of God and the like. Germany abandons Poland. We are no longer a subject. So I can send the spy over here. Now, I'm not sure forcing Ukrainian independence for this will be necessary, because when I was testing it, collapse of the United Baltic Duchy, yeah, sure. And when I was testing this, there were some internal struggles with the Austro Hungarian Empire, and we could capitalize on that, but I don't know what will happen this time. Check out the events if you want. We're now reborn through faith. Convince Hadezia. We're establishing a kingdom of God only to tear it down later. But it will be worth it. We're going to be extremely powerful. We're still locked in by factions, as you can see. Slow construction. And we're finally getting some political power. Condemn Teuton heresy. Yeah, with Wayne, you want to be independent, maybe? They're a puppet, so they can't. We sacrificed some manpower, but don't worry about that. We're going to have tons, way more than we can use. Belgian independence. Now we have to wait either for internal conflicts in the Austro-Hungarian Empire or the German Empire, or for Ukraine to go independent as we set them, or possibly for Lithuania to go independent, although I don't think that can happen. Defend the newborn state from the Teutons and the like. Old glories rediscovered. All right, because it was censored because we were a puppet. So things like Battle of Grunwald was censored in this universe. Normally I would go to free trade now, but it's going to quickly become obsolete. Let's hire a head of intelligence instead. More spies and cheaper upgrades. Cryptology department. All right, and we're no longer a puppet, so we are not giving up our factories. Anniversary of Polish independence. Nice. A letter for the Boszynski. We're going to be replacing our prime minister. Industrial boosts. And we integrate the Patriots, which is going to give us tons of recruitable population. New chance for Poland. They're both flamboyant brutes. But we got some extra political power from it. Let's get some army experience. Offense focus and logistics. Polskie Radio, sure. Now that we've integrated the Patriots, we can convene the Holy Council and discuss on the faith and the fate of our country. Death of Józef Piłsudski, which is unfortunate. Beck promises to follow Pilsudski. This is all a very meme path. However, if you really want to be Satanist in a game like that, you kind of have to resort to memes. Serbian Republic, sure. Modern Fortress, sure. Let's raise it. And the Holy Council convenes. Gold of Great Lechia. Ideas of neo-paganism with a strong devotion to Christ, the Wanderer. Or Cavaliers of Jesus Christ, a strong Catholic state. Or Circle of God's Cause, based on Adam Mickiewicz and Andrzej Towiański. Great Lechia, it has to be. And our flag is a winged hussar riding a velociraptor. And now is the turning point. We gather relics of Christ only to destroy the faith. I think guns and butter, just because it sounds cool. Or decisive battle, hmm. The change in supply consumption sounds promising. Guns and butter doctrine, please. We won't have to worry about supply lines that much. Second American Civil War. Let's have a look. It's a big one. One, two, three, four, five, six factions. Let's invest in an artillery specialist focus thingy for the extra army experience. I think it's gonna be vital long term. We've gathered the relics. Should get an event soon. The prophesied apocalypse. So we have two options here. We can defeat the anarchists or Galilea Perdiditi, partisan committee, free humanity led by Pankratzi. Let's do that, shall we? And we're leaving Middle Europa. All right, let's have a look. We are now the Vistulan Anarchy, and we're led by this guy. Clearly not a deranged psychopath. And we have unlocked the Undivine Comedy, the Satanic Path. Let's do that. We're gonna lose some of the bonuses we have, but we're getting new, more powerful ones. Spartakiada, we don't care. Oh, political power and negative. But not for long. Polskie Radio. Oh, we did well. Extra stability. More spies. Let us infiltrate Ukraine. And let's also start decrypting the Austrians. Undivine comedy. Well, let's burn Jasna Gura. It's a Christian sanctuary. 
a very old one. Oh, and I could use more political power, so I'll have to do state serves the military. And I think we'll switch to superior firepower. It will serve us well while we're on just infantry with the soft attack bonus, and later, when we build up the economy, we can use its bonuses to artillery and such. 10,000 guns in reserves, lots of stuff happening. Spanish Civil War, Belgrade Pact, and Latvia is fighting Estonia, but we cannot access either of them. A humanist cult. Extra research slot. And more population. 666. 6% 6 monthly population. 6%. Recruitable population. 6% research speed. We have burned down Yasnagura. <laughs> Read this event. Snipers picking out monks. Sure. Hmm, perhaps I should have gone with an independent Lithuania rather than Ukraine. Might have been an easier target. Also, I don't see any signs of independence. Yet. Pribaltica is formed. That's a cool moustache. Ruins of the old order, please. Not very good in itself, but necessary. And here's research slot number four. Oh, some stuff is happening in Russia. Some internal struggles. If only I could access them, to kill them. Maybe I will be able to do that through Ukraine. Could use more stability. Oh, we lost an agent. Syndicalism prevails on Ukraine, okay. And they are now independent. Well, I'm not yet ready to attack you, but soon. Let's start getting those troops ready. New division. Just one cavalry for quick deployments and such. Actually, no. Let's use infantry, it's cheaper. Let's go to three armies. So I need 60 more. We'll deploy more soon enough, but I don't have enough guns for everybody. And edit this infantry template, duplicate it, and remove the artillery, because we can't afford such things. Perhaps we can have a civil war in Ukraine or have them fight someone else, then it will be a very good target. We still want to attack them once we've prepared a bit. Frenetic future today. More party popularity. Here you go, another agent. Serbia fighting Bulgaria, not my problem yet. Three armies, enough for now. Exercise. Belgrade Pact takes on Bulgaria, sure. Whatever. And we're gonna need a field marshal. Mm, let's take Konstanty Rokosovsky. Aggressive offensive. Promote this guy as well, so I don't forget to make him a field marshal. Mm, he could work too. No, just be a general. And you. And finally, let soul go wild, there is no hell. Which is a translation of a Polish saying... Hulaj dusza piekła nie ma. Let's go. This will make our leader the Antichrist. Missing quite a lot of equipment, but it's manageable. Right. Are you in any factions? No. I think I will need a faction before I go to war. Fortunately, that can be done easily. Now we have a weekly change of stability. Nice. Not sure where I'm getting it from. We're officially led by the Antichrist. And now to rule the world. Now, before we attack someone, there are a few more focus paths available to us. This is the economy and research. This is army, this is alliances, and this is the air force. So, I think we need an ally before we go fighting people. Join the international community. And we don't have any manpower at the moment, do not worry about that in the slightest, because that latest focus made the whole world our core territory. And we got war goals on everybody. Like, for example, on the Neuschwabenwald down here. It's our core too, even though they're alone at the bottom of the world. And our recruitable population well, 16% plus 5% plus 6%, that's 27% recruitable population. And we can bump it up even further. We can get another 5 from a focus, that'll be 32. And we could get 5 from mass assault, 37. And an additional 20 here, which would make it 57% recruitable population. We don't need that. We're going to have a lot of manpower anyway. How's the exercise going? Well, you don't really have guns, so not so well. But I'm working on it. I'm hoping to join some useful alliance. We have two good options now, and that alliance will either help us fight, or maybe send us land lease. Much needed land lease. We've joined the international community, now we can pick an alliance. However, some options are close to us. See, we are led by the Antichrist. So, the Austro-Hungarian Empire and the Germans don't really want to ally with us. We could stand alone, but of course, the Communists and the Russians don't really care about allying the Antichrist. So we could choose between the Russians or the Communists. This is pretty good because it also gives us 5% recruitable population. Pros and cons, the Third International, which we can join, is quite a strong faction. We have Britain, France, Belgium, half of Italy and Sweden. In comparison, Russia is weaker and also in a civil war. Well, not a civil war, but they're fighting on the small countries on the sides. On the other hand, Russia is directly bordering the Ukrainians. And if the Russians would distract Ukraine from the other side, I think we could easily take them over. I've had a coffee break to think it over, and I've made some decisions. We're going to try and ally with the Russians, of course only to betray and kill them later. I could also ally the communists and maybe go to Austro-Hungary together, but it would be a difficult job. Enough exercise for now. Ah, looks like the Austro-Hungarian Empire was attacked by Illyria. Let's have a quick look. 
Illyria is not extremely powerful, but they could... Oh, that's a lot of troops, actually. They could serve as a good distraction. Hmm. Change of plans. Let's ignore the Russians, befriend the communists, the French communists to be exact, and go after the Austro-Hungarian Empire together. Of course, once we have formed the alliance. Then being distracted by their fight with Illyria should make them an easy target for us and the French together. Oh, and Slovenia is attacking them as well. Excellent. We are missing some guns. Well, that's acceptable. Put the guns, please, and switch your spies over to the Austro-Hungarian Empire, since I am not attacking Ukraine, at least not yet. Some decryption, please. School of Mass Combat, please. And can we join? Will you accept us? You do! See, the communists don't care about who they ally. We could get extra manpower from this, but we have tons. Let's instead get some bonuses to our troops. This actually gives soft attack and breakthrough to our equipment. I should get this before we finish this. Actually, in order for the French to reach the Austrians, they would need to go through either Italy or Switzerland. And Italy seems like the more vulnerable party here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna attack Italy, calling our allies in, and we're going to attack Galicia Lodomeria, also calling our allies in and immediately attack them on aggressive hopefully before the other puppets are called in maybe we'll get some progress done and i do have some planes not a lot but let's use them too is that all yeah i think we're good let's go austrian war and this is looking fine for now i'm going super aggressive because well i'd like to make some quick progress we'll see if it's viable or not right the french are fighting the italians as i expected now why is italy not joining Reliance on the French, so they're just not going to join any wars. That's unfortunate, but not necessarily a big problem. See, Northern Italy will have to send some troops here, while the French should be powerful enough to kill them. Although Dublin, who's fighting Dublin? Oh, Union of Britain is invading Ireland. Um, are we allied with anybody? No. Well, let's ignore it then. Illyria is doing well enough and is, of course, serving as a destruction for us. Can we get any territory? This is our core territory because all is our core territory so even a little bit can be a big boon in terms of manpower and factories hmm. we're in the green everywhere but we're not actually making progress oh no we are a little bit of progress then lease please and we have enough political power to go to total mobilization it's going to decrease our manpower a bit but not significantly doctrine well oh, why did you put 20 units here spread out a bit that's better france really doing a good job See, I am pushing on aggressive, and I realize we might be wasting manpower, but that's not really a problem, because we'll have tons of manpower, and fighting like this is actually going to give us more war score. Let's do combined arms, and use the Austrian cipher. Oh, breakthrough! Only a little bit of one, but let's follow it up. Perhaps I can cut these guys off from supply, or we'll just die on the way. France, doing well. And actually, so are we. Just make sure to not get cut off, please. We have become the controller of this bit with a factory. Well, that's something. Cut them off if you can. Wait a minute, Hungary seems undefended. Should I be cautious with Hungary? Should probably be a bit cautious. There's no rush here. Let's be smart about this. Supply situation, not that great. No, they got burnt. Let's get them back and become the spy master. Japan doing what they always do with the Red Flood. That's an impressive forehead. France, doing great. Actually, they're about to kill Italy. And they're moving into Austria from the south. France is gonna win this for us, I think. Foreign rifles. As long as we keep up the pressure, they will have to uh, take forces from the other fronts. And the French are actually doing very well against Austria. I think we'll be in a great position once they kill Italy. And the more aggressive I am, the more war score we'll have. Italy doesn't have a faction, so they might be surrendering soon. Well, are we finally gonna get Krakow? Yes, it looks like we are. Hello to Bioskvia. Good job, Uruguay. And we got Krakow, which means more factories and more manpower. See? Manpower is not an issue for us, and it will never be. More spies. Oh, we need support equipment for captured operative. Well, I can spare one. France is in Austria. Italy is still holding on. I would kill them myself, but I can't get there. Up here, though, we're making more progress than I expected we would. Fall of Atlanta. Let's check on the Americans and get Todd. The new Pacific Republic seems to be in the best spot. Are we doing with guns? Not too well. But we're doing great with people. Let's go down here so we can get an extra research slot. Mm, French, I need you to dedicate some more people to Italy so we can end this quickly. Although I think I might be a bit unfair to the French. They're doing a lot of good work for me. Do what you want. Those Rosovodovsky. Don Kuban Union. Well, let's remember to kill them later. Our finest hour. Winston Churchill. Infantry equipment manufacturer, please. We need those rifles to be boosted. This is really good. Our communist allies are actually doing good work. Oh, in Ireland as well. So once they're done with Ireland, I am expecting more troops to come to our aid in Europe. Well, in continental Europe. More doctrines. Only building military factories. 
right now. Looks like Italy might survive longer than Austria. Japan removed from a legation council. Who's ruling Japan, by the way? Hirohito. Let's send Todd to Bohemia. Actually, no, let's send him to Austria. Austria and Illyria have signed a peace deal. Also, Italy regained some territory here, but that should not really be an issue because they don't have troops there. Uh, which means there will be less pressure on the Austrians, which is a bad thing for us. But we're so far into their territory that we might be okay. Let's use the Austrian cipher. Hopefully the French can rise to the occasion. And we are still pushing quite aggressively, so this should serve as a distraction for the Austrian forces. While they have the French in here. And Italy has been defeated. Now I have... Oh, really? Zero percent. Well, I guess that makes sense. Would you give me some of this territory, because it's my core stuff, please? Can you maybe give me the war score if you don't want that? Ha! They did give it to me. Because it's my core. I'm just gonna pass a lot of times. Maybe we'll get everything. If I'm an exit, let's see. Okay. I have received some Italian territory, because it was my core and the French are a great ally. Now, Italy itself has survived, but we just have to kill them later. This is amazing, because we are up to almost 60 factories, and we have 2 million manpower, just from getting this territory. That's the magic of having cores everywhere. Well, our lack of guns should be addressed shortly. Can I, can I deploy troops in Italy? It's core territory, but it's separated. Let's see. I cannot. Well, that's a pity, because that would make things much easier. But the French are doing great work. Let's hope they continue. Fall of Chicago. Fall of Beijing. To whom? Well, this is a cluster... Um, let's not end this sentence. With the Italian territories, I have a good industrial base. I should be able to keep up with the gun production and actually outfit my troops properly in a little while. On the other hand, the Austrians are no longer fighting Illyria, so they're bringing many more troops here. Russia is attacking Ukraine. Now, I am a bit worried because it looks like our enemies have focused their offensive on us, but I think we can hold. Japan attacking Qing. Let's go towards the best guns and start producing the better ones. Research slot number five. Oh, is Austria going to fall soon? Looks like they've sent way too many troops to fight us, and not enough to fight the French. Good. France really is an amazing ally, and Britain here too. They went from why die for Danzig to just conquering the Austro-Hungarian Empire for me, essentially. Ukraine is resisting them nicely. Should probably come in from the other side soonish. Nuclear research. 80 factories. Nice. Centralized fire control. Can't really afford artillery yet, but soon. Romania is fighting Ukraine. Why? Yeah, too much is happening. Romania has allied itself with the Russians. <laughs> We're almost there. Austria is down to three provinces. Let's get the sixth research slot. Oh, the cipher for the Austrians is ready. Use it immediately. Oh, are you going to take Vienna? We definitely made the right call joining the international communists. Vienna is ours. That's the end. <laughs> I do not have the most war score, however, I have cores everywhere, which makes them cheap. So, shall we take everything? Yes, yes we shall. This is gonna be wonderful. Ha! Huh. This too, an anarchy. See, our communist allies let me take all of that. Alright then, who should we kill next? Ukraine is about to fall, because they're being attacked by the Russians and the Romanians on two sides. So let's get in on that, get some territory, get in position quickly. Don't really feel like fighting the Russians right now. So our other options are Switzerland, Illyria, Slovenia and the remainder of Italy. Alternatively, we could go after Spain or the Netherlands. Can I attack Italy and justify it quickly? And the truce lasts until March. Right, so we're next after Ukraine. You might have noticed that we're up to 190 factories as well as 6 million manpower. Oh, we captured Nicholas. Demobilize our economy. I really don't want to do that. We just have to declare war soon. Let's go and attack Ukraine. Super aggressively, please. And activate the cipher. Go fast. Go deep. How much participation? 3%. That's not a lot. Alright, that's the end of the war. We don't have a lot of participation, just 4%. However, we do have cores everywhere. And that makes all the difference. This is sufficient. See, having cores everywhere is just like a cheat. That was so easy to take. Let's kill the Italians. Justify war goal. Just 10 days because it's core. There we go. Goodbye, Pope. This should be quick. Full of Rome immediately. I need to wait like uh, two weeks for the peace conference. We could take on the Swiss, but they have a very concentrated defense. I think we'll be better off going after Illyria first. And they're justifying... No, they're being justified on by Serbia, who's allied with the Russians. That's only more reason to kill them quickly. Well, the Italians. I shall take everything and all your ships. Attack. And immediately attack their puppet as well. Bosnia-Herzegovina has declared a war on them. Uh, are you allied with anybody? You are not. I'm gonna need to get a war goal on you very quickly, because I'm not sharing. Non-aggression pact. Bosnia-Herzegovina has a non-aggression pact with Communist France? 
It was a very disappointing. Illyria capitulated, and they did not deal with their internal struggles as well as I hoped they would. Regardless, let's get access to Albania. Now that left Croatia and Bosnia and Herzegovina, and they have non aggression pacts, which prevent us from doing stuff. Next up, Albania. Oh, they're guaranteed by Bulgaria. Do we care? Bulgaria is factionless, and we cannot access their territory. That could be inconvenient. Let's not do Albania then. The Don Kuban Union is a decent option, but we would have to attack through the Strait or the naval invasions, and we're not well versed in those. And we don't want to fight a major faction yet. So I think that leaves Switzerland as our best option. Or Spain. More specifically, I would need to attack all the Spains. We could do that. Yeah. And it's time for the best guns with a bonus. Only 400 days. Forward observers, let's make this army group into a full army group. No, let's just declare war. Maybe I can pull the French into it. Declare war, annex. Declare war, annex. Call allies and declare war, annex. Call allies. We have attacked the entirety of Spain. And looks like the French have disregarded their non-aggression pact and are actually helping us. Go on all fronts. That was quick. Even got some territory. Which immediately got occupied. 10 million manpower. Oh, crap! German Empire declared war on the Commune of France. Well, fortunately, I do not have to accept a coat of arms I get. Let's finish off Spain and then decide if we want to help the French. The Kaiser is at war again. The Second Weltkrieg is happening. The Germans can wait. Oh, crap. Well, I was mistaken. They cannot wait because the Spanish have joined forces with them. Well, we have to scramble now. I'm gonna need a lot of troops yesterday. Let's go up to two army groups and do it quick. A field marshal for you. I think we had some troops ready to deploy. Still need to switch them to a usable template, like this one. So one big coherent border, which makes it easier. On the other hand... Oh, Belarus is taken. We also need to deal with Lithuania here. Um, yeah, it's... It's all doable. We have our allies in our territory helping us. Just need to move real quickly. Get in position, don't even fight. Just make sure we're not conquered. Although it's very difficult to capitalize this, because even if they take our capital or something, all of this is also my core territory. Yes, I would like some land lease, please. I need to deploy all these troops. Bulgaria has joined the Reichspact. Well, we don't have a border with Bulgaria, so that's hardly a problem. This looks dangerous, but actually I think we'll be fine. At least once we've dealt with Spain. I'm missing guns again, but not for long. How many major countries? Just Germany. Actually, you guys go on the offensive. Do I have the German cipher? I do not. Let's work on that. And transfer our operatives. I did not expect Spain to join the Reichspakt, and they're almost in our capital. The Russians are actually fighting Germany. Good! I would even give you military access if you so choose. You don't want to walk into the lands of the Antichrist, really? Oh well, it's fine. They should be fighting Lithuania soon, and that will be helpful. Germany strikes east. Well, Germany will soon not be in a position to strike anywhere. Troops ready to deploy. Everyone to a usable template. Some more troops for the German front. Two full army groups. Just infantry, but it's decent infantry. And there's a lot of it. And soon they will even have guns. Once we've dealt with Spain, I think this should be very much doable. Hmm, expeditioning force, how much? One. Sure. Be a bit more aggressive with your attack. Full of Warsaw and Gibraltar. Yeah, they're really pushing into our territory. I'm working on it, and we are not in danger of capitulation. Our capital was moved to Vienna. The problem here is that Lithuania is not at war with the Russians. If it was, the Russians could walk in and help. Unfortunately, our best forces are caught up in Spain, but not much longer. One Spain has capitulated already. Lithuania is now fighting the Russians. Excellent. This will lessen the pressure on us a little bit. Well, I certainly did not expect to be pulled into a war with Germany, and not this early. But we have the British and the French and the Russians on our side. So I think we'll be fine as soon as I get my main forces up there. And I'm not going to be antagonizing the Entente. There is no need for it. Excellent. Spain is done for. Oh, did I forget to take the navy? Looks like it. And the majority of our forces will now be fighting the Germans. Let's get access from the Russians, so we don't get weird borders like this. We'll reorganize things a bit once we've dealt with the remainder of Spain. Spanish Civil War over. Also, Spain over. Revolt in the Reichspakt, yes, good. Well, the problem is the Russians are no longer connected to the Germans. Collapse of Lithuania. <laughs> Lithuania is now independent, but at war with the Germans. So the Germans should kill them, and then they will be bothering the Russians again. We have actually lost all of Poland that we started with. Hopefully, that will not persist. Call to arms against the Entente. No. No, thank you. Russia declared 
or in Lithuania. That's actually good for me because, uh, yeah, it's hard to distinguish the border, but the Russians are not touching the Germans. But when they go through Lithuania, they will, thus putting more pressure on the Germans, thus making our life much easier. More spies in Germany, please. And we are actually pushing back. Lithuania was annexed, so the Russians can finally start fighting the Germans. Whoa, 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 what the hell happened here? How am I the Polish People's Republic? How, when, why? It makes no sense whatsoever. Yeah, that's... Weird things happen with mods sometimes. Now we're apparently the Polish People's Republic, but we're still led by the Antichrist. It was weird. Do I still have cores everywhere? Yes. Alright, so we've retained our cores. Just the color and the name changed for some reason. Shock and all. It would be much more effective if we had artillery, but I did not expect to fight Germany just yet. Actually planned to wait a year or two and to outfit our army better. I don't think we can ever run out of manpower at this rate. We haven't even fully mobilized yet. There's only one major country in the enemy faction. So we don't have to care about anything that is not Germany. Well, of course, unless they start landing naval invasions or something. But as it stands, just Germany. I could do a coalition government in Germany to lower the surrender threshold, but I don't think it's worth it just for that. Let's instead infiltrate their army. We've lost 1.2 million troops. Acceptable. Warsaw is ours again. And the Russians are helping. A bit. The French, well, not so much. Now, let's not be assholes to the French. They have actually helped us a lot. First conquer Austria, and then defend our territory from the German attack. Looks like the German Empire is on the back foot now. Would it be better if we had enough rifles, but I'm working on it. Oh, we lose Kalish again. The game's running rather slowly now, although a lot of people are fighting. So it kind of makes sense. If you have any idea why I've switched to Polish People's Republic, uh, do let me know. Japan attacked Germany. They don't seem to have any friends around the world right now. There's of course stuff happening in the colonies, but uh, I'm just going to ignore that. But maybe except for America. New Pacific Republic is winning. Now, Japan, would you like some military access so we can land your troops in my territory? No. Why don't they trust me? It might be the human sacrifice. We're rapidly industrializing and increasing the amount of guns we're making every day. Think in about a year Germany should fall, once we've built enough guns for everybody. Speaking of Germany falling, here's the cipher. And the best guns are about to be ready. I was gonna slow down my production quite a lot, but they are significantly stronger, so I think it's worth it. Thus, we switch. And I need to switch my economy as well, because we don't have enough steel. Limited exports for now. Let's see if that's enough. It is. Anti-tank rifles. Our darkest hour, final days of Europe. We're actually losing more guns than we're making, but this will speed up eventually. We're actually making nice progress. Like here, for example. We might have exhausted the German Empire. Britain is landing in Portugal. Good, I mean, I have no quarrel with Portugal, I'm not joining a war against the Entente. However, Britain landing here and eliminating them would free up all these troops. Also, we are up to six research slots. We have progressed quite a bit. Those new rifles are making a difference, I think. Also, Germany seems rather exhausted. And we have an endless supply of people. Total manpower, 30 million. Free manpower, 17 million. And it's not all mobilized yet, is it? And we're almost in Berlin. Well, now they got Adam. Let's try and get him back. That's a nice railway. Germany, how far are you from capitulation? More than halfway there. Go on, France, do stuff. Don't need border forts or defense. But more factories are always welcome. That's a long Germany. When we conquer Berlin, will we get an event like Wilhelm found dead or something? We're getting some insane numbers here. Come on, get Berlin for me. Retaken almost all of Polish territory. Almost. Those Germans here are not having a good time. Essen, which means to eat. Well, let's eat Germany. Full of Berlin. Good. And the collapse of the Reichspakt. Wait a minute. Is it gonna be... Oh, that's terribly loud. Wait a minute. I don't want to be piecing these people out. The Kaiserreich is about to fall. Yes, yes it is. So the of Egypt. And here's the end of the German Empire. Wait a minute. There were like 30 people in this war on their side. So what, they now go free because... Oh, I'm a bit angry now. The collapse of the Reichspakt actually made them independent or something. You know what? Doesn't matter. I'm gonna take all of Germany and all the rest I can. The fleet can wait. But let's make sure nobody contests me on anything. Right, now the fleet. Am I still at war with the minor countries? Yes, I am. And a lot of them too. Luxembourg is alive. Hmm. I think we're gonna end it here, but first let's see. Diplomacy. Uh, yeah, yeah, nobody likes us, but who is at war with us? Finland, Iceland, Cuba, half of Africa, and bits here. Well, that is completely manageable, although I would need to get some troops into Morocco very quickly. And we have a huge fleet taken from our targets. Yeah, that's over 400 ships. 
easily enough to land naval invasions. 700 factories, 26 billion manpower. I think at this point we can easily destroy the rest of the world if we compare ourselves to the Russians, for example. They have one third of our factories. And we have more manpower. Also, France and Britain are good allies. I'm gonna end it here. I think this is enough to explore Satanist Poland in Kaiser Redux. Also, we have war goals on everybody, so we can either just finish off the ones we're at war with, or we could start attacking some random countries we are next to, like Netherlands, Denmark, Switzerland, and so on. That would be easy, and it's also called territory. Hmm, also Turkey, because we got Bulgarian territories. I would probably try and go through Turkey to Africa. Syria, are you in any factions? You are in a faction that I do not mind antagonizing. Actually, we were at war with many of them already. So yeah, now I would go through Turkey, through Syria, through Egypt, into Africa. And once we've cleaned all that up, I would move on to the former German presence down here. After that is done, I would pick off any countries that are not in factions, like a large bit of Africa and the Middle East, as well as Denmark, Netherlands and Switzerland. And after that, I would kill the Russians. Now, if I were to continue it until completion, we would have thousands of factories and, and way more manpower than we can ever use. Now, we're almost caught up on guns for everybody. Just another half a year or something should do it. So what I would do once we have enough guns is, of course, add some artillery to the template as well as a full contingent of support companies. We can support that with research easily because we have six slots. And of course we have our nice reliable allies of the third international who trust us because that's a face you can trust with your life. Let me know how you liked this video. I'm gonna end it here and if you want to see the other option where I play vanilla but just do evil stuff as Poland I would probably name that evil Poland so you can suggest that if you want to see it. Thank you for watching and I'm gonna see you again soon. Goodbye.